What is up, YouTube? That's it here, and today I'm back when we're Pokemon VDC 2024 Regulation of Battles, and today we're busting out the Eviolite Torah Cap with a little bit of Ice Horse Rodeo. This is an amazing rental code made by Chalda. They've really, really been liking Glastier and Torah Cap for most of, you know, this regulation as far as I know. I follow them on Twitter. I'm gonna have a link to their Twitter in the description if you can go check them out. Go check them out. They have a bunch of really, really cool tweets. They have really good hot takes on some stuff, and uh, they made a really, really cool team that I saw on Twitter and I felt I wanted to feature it. You know, I don't normally feature like rental codes that I see others use, but this one looks really, really cool. I think Torcat and Glastier specifically have great synergy, right? Torcat is actually in a lot of situations better than Incineroar. It doesn't have that dark type which means it actually resists fairy. It bullies things with overheat. It has a much higher base speed. So you can see other Incineroars. You can fake out those Incineroars. You can overheat their partners. You can wisp things like Urshifu, which we have a higher base speed than as well. This is a really, really cool team. It's a lot better than it looks like on paper. You can go into trick room mode. You can go with a little bit of a faster mode with Flutter. You have big AOE damage from things like Primarina. This team should get us a lot of wins today and I would highly recommend this rental to anyone looking to experiment and play a kind of like a semi trick room team that has a good matchup into like what most like raging bolt meta teams are right now so think about trying out this round of code in your own games and uh i'm gonna go play my games with this team so wish me luck here we go all right here we go a little bit of bolt balance with goldango torn ursh hmm i guess i would still call that bolt balance i think like ogre pawn normally there's an amoongus on balance but ogre pawn makes it a Ah, same thing. Let's see. What I want to do here. Crest is really good, but we can get fake outed. So we could like weed. We could actually weed Torcat Cress here. I think that's not bad. So Torcat Cress. Bring in the Ice Horse Rodeo. And Flutter's not like a bad mon in case like this all goes south. I think Flutter, sorry, um, I like uh Primarina here, but I don't really care for it into Dango that much. Rilla's just okay. I think I'm gonna bring the the Flutter. And I'm going to try and, like, basically play Trick Room until, like, three or four turns into the Trick Room, pivot in the Flutter on the last turn of Trick Room, maybe reading a Protect, and then bully them with the Specs Flutter. This should disincentivize them from going Torn, not really setting the Tailwinds, and then from there, like, Flutter is going to be able to outspeed the Dango, outspeed the Bolt, outspeed the Urshi, unless it's Scarfed. You know, maybe I'll prioritize getting Urshi off the board so Flutter doesn't have to deal with it, but that's the idea going into this first one. I think I know who this is, but, um... Hard to say. And thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching the content. Featured some cool teams today. Intimidate Eviolite Torcat. Now, Torcat has a bunch of really cool things going for, right? It's faster than Incineroar. So you can see my Intimidate's probably gonna go off first, right? There it is, right? So I can fake out their fake outer trick room, and then because I'm fast on Torcat, when I parting shot next turn, I'm gonna be able to bring in my ice horse like safe. Right? So we're gonna be able to fake out a fake out here. Bam, and go for a nice old fashioned trick room. And if you happen to just like attack me with the Ogre Pond and like crit Ivy Cudgel with the Horror Cat, I think that's still fine because then we just bring in the Ice Horse anyways. So this trick room's going up. This trick room is going up, going up. Puzz 3D, going up. Here we go. Anyone remember that? Am I that old? Um, Raging Bolt. Cool, I'm gonna parting shot that. Awesome, so fake out. So fake out your fake outer, so you can fake out while you're fake outing. Good stuff. Trrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
that's a really good type here. Yeah. Here we go. So there's two things we can do here. I think I'm gonna out. I'm gonna hard swap my Cress for. Um, if I had Lunar Blessing on Cress, I would probably think about leaving Cress on the board. But I don't think I need to. What do we want to do here? I think I'm gonna high horsepower the Raging Bolt because it would do a ton of damage to the Raging Bolt and it would chunk the Incin on its swap. And Raging Bolt's not gonna have Protect, whereas it's like Ogre Pond could Spiky Shield. So I'm gonna get a new Fake Out pin and another Intimidate. I'm just gonna cycle these Intimidates with Toracat. Dude, Toracat Ice Horse. Good stuff, dude. Child of the guy that made this team. I love this, I love this tech. So here we go. We are pivoting first. And let's see if we see like a Spiky Shield. And if we do see the Spiky Shield, then we just double into the Ogre Pond super hard. I want a plus one attack before I can actually overcommit to taking out Ogre Pond. There's the, this should be Incineroar here, right? Gold Ango, that works. We see all four of their mons here. Gold Ango on the high horsepower turn. Are you, are you following? What a good player, dude. I had, I had your number, bro. Don't even act like I didn't have it. Cool. Goldango's a good mon here. Um, it's gonna be hard to get that thing off the board. This turn, honestly, I would not be surprised. I think I have to do the exact same play. Like, I think I have to do that. I'm gonna have to fake out right here, and I hope that we can just break the dango. Maybe I should have terastalized. But remember, we're also trying to wait out, and then the trick room's gonna end, and then we just bring out the flutter and go. <laughs> Protect dango's good. Good play from them. They don't want about, are they spiky shielding too? Like a good player? Good player, oh my gosh, this guy's so good. You ever seen anyone as good as this guy? I haven't, holy moly. This is not good for me. We do have overheat into Dango if we need it. We just gotta get that Ogre Pond off the board. Blaster and TR, right? Let's see. I could protect Ice Horse and Parting Shot the Ogre Pond and then reap him with Flutter. That wouldn't be bad. I'm okay with that. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Follow me's fine. Yeah, I thought about just throwing a wisp, but like this is enough. It's already intimidated. It's, it's basically like really, really weak. And the dango is scary, right? The dango is scary, but I think we're gonna be able to do what we want here. We could go into our crest and get a new set of trick room up, or we could go into flutter. Hard to say. I'm going go into the flutter. Hmm. I think if I tear my horse, it doesn't die to the dango. But that being said, I think there's a couple different ways I can still play around this. I'm gonna pivot in here. And I'm just going to moon blast here. I think that's probably the best play that I have. I don't want to waste my Terra yet. I don't want to waste Terra yet. And hopefully this can pop the Ogre Pond here. They shouldn't be spiky shielding, right? If anything, I think they're going to go with, like, Steel Terra, and I want to condition, like, being able to fake out and overheat it. So I'm trying to waste... Cool, this is fine with me, too. If they don't want to waste their Terra, and they just want to go, um... What is that? Make it rain? Like, Torcat won't die. I'd like to be able to take this guy out. Oh, that is ass bad for me. That's so freaking bad. Ugh. Yeah, that's so bad. So bad. Because now they can like spiky shield and do a bunch of other stuff. That's so bad. Ah, oh, I wish I got that KO. Alright, so they only have plus one now. Still have our Terra up if we needed to use it. It's my Terra, I'm just curious. Grass, grass is the right Terra there too. Okay. I don't want to terastalize my Cress. I could overheat that Goldengo slot, expecting a... I don't think I would KO, though. I really don't. I think what I'm going to do is actually just throw the fake out in there. I know it's really predictable, but I think it might be... Oh, we do have a Winter Blessing. What didn't I think we had? Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, we have Winter Blessing right there. So we, that, that's an option, too. I'm happy to see it. I'm playing really standard here. I don't want to waste my Terra on my Cress. I think this is the right play. If you even spiky shield and then get a free pivot into the ice horse, that's great. Oh, 
Let's see it. You can play. Hey, it's a good play from them. I get a new. I get a fresh set of paint in my trick room though. So, yeah, that works for me. That does work indeed. And I can finish off the ogre palm at the crest here. So this is actually like still definitely manageable. Like all their mons are weak against high horsepower. If we get one boost, like we do go to the races. Cool. We still have our Terra. I think that's like a really, really big thing about this is we still have the ability to Terra. Fresh set of paint on the trick room. And yeah, we got all that we really need here. Um, I'm gonna go high horsepower into the Ensign and I'm just gonna throw an Ice Beam into this Ogre Pond slot. You're probably pivoting in Dango here, right? That would mean the right play here, especially if that's on cooldown. It's actually to double into that slot and try and catch whatever's coming in on that slot. That is better. I don't think I need a Lunar Blessing right now. You can only fake out one. I'm getting a KO on this Ogre Pond. And then you won't be able to redirect and I'll be able to solidify KOs into your Dango. If you want to fake out Cress, yeah, follow me is absolutely fine. So like, I'm getting my KO here and I want the KO with the Ice Horse. You can Flare Blitz me, you can do whatever you want. I can Lunar Blessing that away. You have to respect my ability to go, um, what is it? You also have to respect my ability to have like a policy on this thing. And if you want to go for like a parting shot, I don't like that either. Yeah, because we got that clear amulet, baby, dude. That's what I'm talking about. And you're stuck here now. Mm, yeah, dude, let's go. So I got that plus one attack. You have no fake out pin. You're going to bring in Dango, protect Dango, pivot in um, the Raging Bolt. I'm going to KO the Raging Bolt, Terastalize. I'm in a good spot here. I mean, I guess I could just go into the Dango slot. But I know they're doing that. I know they're going to protect Dango, pivot in Raging Bolt. <sighs> I wonder if they are like are backs to the wall, you know? Like this does K. You know what? I I'm fine with this. I honestly don't need to terastalize if I what Terra are you? You have to be Ghost Terra. Sorry, you have to be Steel Terra on that set, right? Like if they're Dragon Terra, this is a bat. This is a loss for me. If I if I don't, ter I'm, I'll Terra. It's fine. You win. You win. All right, Terra there. Yeah, you can pivot. You can do all that play. I made the right play. I I didn't I didn't psych myself out. I like the Terra here as well in case they wanted to go Protect Dango Flare Blitz. So I like this. Poison Terra is really, really cool here. I like it a lot. What do you weak against? Fighting? Poison. What do you not want to fight against? Fluttermane? Poison. Are you Dragon Terra? Are you a good player? Let's see it. Terrasa is in Sin, huh? Yeah, I want this Dango, buddy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you heard. Uh, Dango is the thing that actually deals damage. So I'm going to go after that. Um... Protect Dango's good. It's the right play to protect your Dango, no matter what you're doing. High Horsepower's gonna get whiffed. Ice Beam's gonna get whiffed. Let's see how much damage they actually do. I wonder if they're gonna, like, knock off me? Knock off Crest? Floor Blitz into this guy? They're trying to get that big burn? Oof, that's a lot of damage, actually. Burn would suck, by the way. Nice. Cool. So, we don't get the burn. And I just gotta seal up that Dango slot and I win the game, I think. So, High Horsepower this turn should get that KO. Pop a big Lunar Blessing. Now that we know the Dango can't Trastalize defensively, we're good. We are good. That defensive Trastalization, man, that was it. Torcat player better than Incineroar player confirmed. They might pivot out the Dango for a Raging Bolt and just kind of throw that thing in the garbage for a turn and try and wait out my Trick Room, but I don't necessarily think they have the right tools to be able to break the Crest here. Pivot out in Sin for Raging Bolt. Are they going for a Double Protect Dango? Like, if we're getting them in that, like, late game of a situation... It's over. Oh, no protect. Ooh, that's a plus two. Dude, we're going to get all four KOs with the Ice Horse Rodeo, dude. Let's go. You have a fake out pin, but we're going to get uh, a Lunar Blessing out of it. Let's go, dude. Oh, my gosh. This team is busted. Double almost full health. And then there's like one turn left on TR. I don't necessarily think there's a problem. And you can't even intimidate, bro. The clear amulet being big busted. So let's think about the exact right play here. This is last turn TR. Do I want to protect 
You're gonna fake out this slot. No, I actually don't think there's a problem with throwing high horsepower in there and actually just clicking Lunar Blessing. I don't need the damage at this point. It'll just tap off any, yeah, like, absolutely fine. What are you gonna do, hit that same slot? Like, that's okay. Uh, Raging Bolt should be slower. Oh, they're not slower. Huh, well, we're tapped off. Who are you going into, Cress or Glastrio then? Draco Meteor in the, oh my gosh, she just protected. It's a lot of damage, but now you're at minus two. And now I'm just gonna go protect Lunar Blessing. Cause like, I don't have the Trick Room right now. Protect is good. Lunar Blessing is also good. So we're soak the knockoff from the Incend 2 on the Crest slot. And we don't need the Trick Room just yet. I don't know if we even showed Protect yet. So they might still be doubling into that slot. They might be like Fire Blitzing, Dracoing it again, or like Thunderclap uh, Fire Blitz. And if they want to overcommit that way, we just win the game with Protect. Because they know we're going to have an Ice Attack. They know we have... I don't know, I don't know if they know, know what we have. To this set. A, lot, a lot of Glass Shears still run Heavy Slam too. So let's see who they're going into. Oh, dude, this guy's making... He's trying to... He's trying to get us. Is that a Para? No Para, thank God. Cool. So Crest is faster than in Sin. Awesome. Big heal. Knock off into the Crest. Oof. Ugh, that's so much damage. Citrus knocked off, never lucky. All right, so I think we're still fine here. Um, they can knock off our clear amulet. I think I'm just gonna go high horsepower into the Raging Bolt and just keep Winter Blessing. I don't think I need to Trick Room here. I don't think it's required. Yeah, you're too weak. And remember, Cress is faster than in Sin, so hopefully they don't burn us on a Flare Blitz into our Ice Horse, but like we should be good. They might even just be knock offing it, you know? But look at that health. There's a knockoff, cool. I'm happy to see knockoff over like a Flare Blitz, honestly. So Clarion Blitz finally goes down. High horsepower. That's the third KO. We're gonna get all four KOs with the Ice Horse, dude. That is just crazy. Crazy. Dude, I don't even need... CC, baby. Oh my gosh. We take those wins. We use the Torque Cat, we use the Ice Horse, like it doesn't get much better than that. All right, Bax Caliber. And this guy is, I think, a top 500 player. Are we, we're Poison Terra here, we're Grass Terra here, we're Fairy Terra here, Dark Terra. I, I think Amoongus is harder to deal with than I really want to deal with. So I'm actually gonna have to play this really weird. I'm, I'm probably gonna go Torque Cat again. I think I'm gonna go Torque Cat Prim. I know that seems really weird. But then I think if I can pivot correctly, I'll I'll have what I need. I'm gonna go Rilla and Ice Horse. And you may be thinking like, that's so what are you doing? Um, you didn't bring your Trick Room Setter, but you brought all your slow things. We're gonna hyper trade with this. If we Trick Room, the Amoongus is just gonna put all of our Mons that we wanna sweep with to sleep, and it's not gonna it's not gonna work. It's gonna, we're gonna be wasting all of our Trick Room times having to like protect Winter Blessing, wake them up and do all those sort of things. So what we're actually just gonna do is bully all of these Mons. We're just gonna trade with them one for one. Like if I can lead Torah Cat Prim and they do weed something that's a little bit more passive, like I can fake out trade with their Sin, Dazzling Gleam, Chunk their Sin for half, Oko their Urshi or Bax, you know? And then from there, I got like a O for one trade and like half damage on their Sin. From there, I just bring out the Ice Horse and roll them, maybe force a Terra at some point. And I'll just be exuding a little bit more pressure going into like the later stages of the game. So we don't necessarily have to play like the same like fake out Trick Room team like every single time. We know that they're gonna be bringing Amoongus, right? We know that it's gonna be there and it's probably gonna be that Water Terra. So let's see if we have the tools to beat this one. So Bax Flutter, I mean, honestly, fake out, uh, Fake out plus damage is, is good, <laughs> you know? I mean, hey, that's it works, right? See if it's Clear Amulet. It is, cool. Clear Amulet's such a good item. Yeah, let's just do it. Fake out these, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna dazzle. Um, hell yeah, dude, damage time. If I can get this Bax off the board, like this is gonna be really good. And if you bring up the Amoongus, right? Like overheat is damage. Like I like how, Torcats still have always been like overheat. This has been the same good Torcat set that's been good for years. And I don't think Prim's like really that threatened by this Flutter main slot. But let's see what they want to do. 
I wonder what they were trying to catch. Maybe they were trying to catch Crest because they locked in Flutterman in the first slot. Maybe they thought we were going to go Crest. And Crest did not want to deal with that. Pivot out the Flutter. This is free damage this turn. Big, big, big damage. So Moongus. Oh god, this is just a lot of damage. It's a booster speeder attack. Speed. Cool. They're going to, like, die. So that's fine. And they're Terra. They're Poison Terra? I mean, it's fine. We're, we're trying to waste resources. Like, Steel Terra. Whoa, good thing I'm not eating any damage this turn. Otherwise, that would suck. And so next turn, I'm just going to overheat them, right? Like, I think they should go down to the Dazzle plus overheat. Cool. Big damage. Fairy Terra. I mean, we're going to do a lot to this Gouging Fire. So good stuff. Here we go. Fairy Terra Prim. I'm so happy I didn't go to, like, trick them into this. This would have been really hard. So fake out, flinch them over the clear ammo so we knew they weren't, um, they knew, we knew they weren't cloak or anything like that. Dazzle them. Look at this big damage. That's a lot of damage. Even to a Steel Terra Bax? Whew. That's a lot. All right, so I'm going to go with uh, an overheat here. Remember, I can't go for the Wisp. Um, they have that thermal ability. But Torcat, Torcat's cool. I want to make sure, I want to actually check our EVs. You know, I wasn't given a pace for this team. That's that's kind of what you still have to run on Torcat. I think the overheat still gets it. Um, I do. And I'm just going to drop a Protect. Very, very standard. What are they going to do, Snarl? Like, they are going to Snarl. Um, but I think two overheats does get it. How? Okay. I'm happy to see how. I'm faster than you, I think. I think. How is dangerous, though. Big overheat. Torcat busted. Oh my gosh, Torcat. You gotta chill, buddy. You gotta chill with that. Whew. That's a Terra down. You have a how boosted gouging fire. I will respect your damage here. But at the same time, like. Damn, dude, I didn't even need to protect. I didn't even need to protect. I could have just killed it, bro. I could have. I could have just killed it. Why didn't I do that? Nah, that's fine. So they have a lot of damage here. I have a fake out pin. I think I should probably swap Fodder the Rilla. Ugh. How value is Ice Horse here? It is value. But if you're going to heat crash me, I've already used my Terra. I need to get a fake out pin. The right play here is the parting. Let me think about this. No, it's okay. So best play we got. Yeah, he crashed. We just got to, we just got to sack this thing. I'm surprised I didn't die, but at the same time, like we're gonna die right here. And then we get a fake out um, cycle. Yeah, so we're going to get a parting shot plus, wait, I think this is still fine. Uh, we're going to try and make our ice horse not die. I don't know how much damage, like, heat crash does into an ice horse. It's kind of hard to say, right? It's kind of hard to say. And that's going to be a specs flutter, by the way. BT dubs. So we're going to come back in with our, we're going to come in with ice horse right here. And then we're going to have a fake out pin into that guy. And we're going to try and oko this flutter. Let me see our attack stat. Is it full? Oh, God. 252 club. Let's go. It's fine with me. Big Intimidate here. And so we're going to go Fake Out, um, Icicle Crash. And then next turn, we're going to go Protect Parting it again and make them like minus two or minus three. So hopefully that's enough to get it. What do you have in the back? You can pivot on this. Amoongus is your last Mon, probably. I don't think it's Urshi, right? So that means this is this should be really good. Protect for it. It's not specs. I th really thought it would be specs. Okay. Hey, you know, I played it like it was specs flutter. They made it look like specs flutter. And one cool thing about Torcat, right, is it doesn't have that neutrality to fairy like Incin does. All right, we can probably actually just soak the damage. But I think what I'm going to do is just protect here. And I'm going to parting shot. I'm going to bring in the Rilla, and then I'm going to, like, hard swap out Rilla back for the Torcat, and I'm going to try and get the Burning Bulwark guy off the board. <sighs> Eventually, right? That's going to be the hard part. 
see if they're howling again. That'd be a cool play. Breaking swipe. Okay. That's smart. It's a good play. They're not just taking the bait. So attack dropped. Dazzle. The fact they're dazzling there is... So, like, they actually can't break the ice horse right now, which is great. Really, really good. So they're now at minus one or minus two. Might be, might be minus three at this point, because we cycled Intimidates with them. This is going to condition the Gouging Fire to uh, Burning Bulwark, right? Because they want to block Fake Out and burn my Rilla. So I could pivot back in. Actually, I really like that play. Because I want to go after the Flutter here. I do. I do want to go after the Flutter here. They're at minus two. Oh, I want to go after that Flutter. So I want to just Wood Hammer this Flutter in the face. Um, I'm going to Icicle Crash this Flutter and pivot back in. Just hard pivot here. So when they do the Burning Bulwark, it's going to be on cooldown. And then next turn, I'll transition my Ice Horse into attacking that slot after the Burning Bulwark's on cooldown. Or we just get a Fake Out pin on whatever they bring out. It's cool with me. Let's see if the Flutter protects. Amoongus? There's Amoongus. We told you Amoongus was there. We told you Amoongus was going to be there. We know this. Okay, let's see if this Flutter's protecting. It should be, but let's see. I mean, I would protect Flutter in this slot. I would definitely. There's no reason not to. Okay, yo, we might just KO the Flutter here. Big damage. Icicle crash. I'm an ice horse. Okay, that's a thick Flutter. Holy freaking thickness. Why are you so thick? Is that Lefty's Flutter or is that the Grassy Drain? It's Lefty's. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a... Uh... That's not normal. I mean, you just hit that, right? I don't, I don't see. What, do you, what are you going to do? Like, hit me with a Dazzling Gleam? Like, you still have Terra. Fuck. They're going to get a Terra up. I have to do, I have to do this. All right. Well, then let's play it differently. I'm going to go there. And there. I like that. We actually, uh, we might actually KO them with another Icicle Crash. And we know they're going to, oh, they already tear it. I'm an idiot. This is a weird play. This is a, I mean, this play works. They didn't tear a, they didn't protect a Rocky Helmet. Okay, that's, that's bad. That's something don't kill my Torcat. Okay. And if I can take out this floor, that'd be sick, by the way. Oh, yes! Yo, I needed that plus one. I forgot. That. I was, like, playing around Water Terra, but, like, they don't have it, right? So now we're just big. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is protect the Ice Horse, get a little bit of Grassy Terrain health. Um, I kind of want a parting shot. The Bulwark, or the that one guy over there. Let me think about this. This is a hard play. If I can stick and intimidate, I think I beat that thing. You think about this. Because you might. I don't want to get pollen puffed either this turn. I think I eat the heat crash. I do think I eat it. If they go Burning Bulwark, Parting Shot goes through it. I like this. Yeah, Breaking Swipe. God, that sucks, that KO Tor Cat. But if they stick a Spore here, that's really bad. Oh, yeah, I don't get a Sack Drop. Because I have Breaking... Yeah, uh, they're done. I forgot. Dude, Clear Amulet is the best item in the game. It's so good. It won me game one with the Parting Shot. It won me this game. Like, dude, Clear Amulet is the truth. Child of the person who like made this team. They're like a they're like a ice horse connoisseur. They know the secret to getting it to do what you want. And then Rill comes in. And that should just be game, right? You're gonna go burning bulwark here, but Icicle Crash doesn't make contact. So you can burn the Rilla, but like. I'm trying to think of the way out. I mean you can go burning bulwark, I don't care. 
to, what am I gonna do? Fake out my own Ice Horse Protect? Oh, what a flex play that would have been. But like, Rilla doesn't do anything here. All right. It's really gonna come down to like, how much damage they do to my Ice Horse. I should have went for like the, the fake out my own ice horse protect play. That would have been sick. All right, here we go. Grassy terrain disappeared. Ain't no thing. Do they go double? This will KO. I don't want to miss, but like they're both. I mean, this will KO. And it doesn't matter what we do here. Do they double? They double dipping out here? He crashed. They're going for it. Dude, we are so freaking thick. We're so heavy. Dude, Ice Horse is the heaviest item in the world. We crit our U-turn. Busted value. High horsepower hits, and we take those wins all the way to the bank. Like I said, top 500 player. And this team's kind of just cooking, bro. This team's kind of just cooking. Holy moly. Why is this so busted? We didn't even trick room, if you remember. We didn't even do the thing that the team needs to do to win. We just outvalued them with like fake outs and intimidates. It was sick. All right, Bolt Balance again with Dango. Is this the same team that we fought in the first game? It's a different person, obviously, but I think it's like the same team, like Dango, Bolt, Balance. Yeah. All right, so what do we want to do against this? I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I think like Torcat, Cress is really good. Um, I like the Ice Horse, and I think we bring the Flutter. Like bringing out that Flutter in the mid game on like the last turn of our first Trick Room, is that perfect little like mid-level reset. So we get three or four turns of Trick Room on our first Trick Room and we're able to get like one to two KOs. From there, Flutter comes out, KOs the last thing that's putting pressure. And then we just set up a fresh set of Trick Rooms with our Cress in the back. Really, really good stuff. So hopefully we get these wins. That looks like it should be Urshi. I don't know what Urshi that is on this team. You know, I don't know if we saw it the first time. It could be Urshi Dark because you already have a water type, but it could also be Urshi Water and having like Urshi Water and Water Pond because like water types are so good in the meta right now. Um, if we're trying to guess items, I think like the Insin could be Citrus. Ogre Pond has to have the Wellspring Mask. The Dango could have like Lefty's Orb or even Specs. Honestly, it could have any of those items. The Raging Bolt probably has the Vest on this team. The Torn of the Urshi have the Sash. If it's going to be Sash Torn, it could be scarf urshi if it's gonna be it could be covert cloak torn it could be rocky helmet torn there's so many different things this team could do could it be mystic water urshi could be banded urshi could be scarf urshi that being said i think this is their game to lose because our team is so reactive that being said we're, we're we're actually having a pretty good win rate with this team it's really easy to outplay people because people just don't have matchup experience versus ice horse anymore so that being said they led with torn and urshi dark so this, uh, this fake out is not that hot right now. Do I need to terrestrialize my crest? I don't think I need to. But that being said, if they have taunt, like we just lose, right? Torcat, what is your base speed? 150. That's one point faster than Urshi. So you know what I'm gonna actually do here? Hell yeah, dude, you're not gonna tailwind. You're probably going to taunt my crest. I don't want to go Dark Terra. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want a defensive Terra until I have to. You could go Ghost Terra on your Urshi to still get your attack off. That's fine. We can do taunt crest. Like, again, it doesn't really matter. You can taunt the Torcat if you want to be a gamer. Tailwind on the Trick Room turn? Bro, you're getting hit with the El Clasico here. What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, yeah, go nuts, buddy. The thing that sucks about this is they still have taunt if they want to taunt my Torcat, and I don't want to get taunted, but at the end of the day, like, it's... I'm still going to wisp this thing. Why would you tailwind there? It's Cresselia, bro. I need to be able to hit this to be able to break Sash. If it is Sash. You know the Urshi's not banded, so that could still be Sash, too. But the Will Wisp will take care of that. If you have Taunt, go nuts. This is the one time Torcat's worse than Incineroar. It can get taunted. All right. No Prankster Taunt. I'll take a Freeze, even though, like, I'm pretty sure it cloaked. Wisp. We just missed our Wisp. Are you freaking real, bro? Are you real? You think I use this for... You think I use this for shits and giggles? You think I just use Will Wisp because I feel like it? No. Dude, that sucks. <laughs> Yo, oh, my God. This is so much damage. 
Oh, that didn't need to happen if we stuck the Wisp. We would have proc'd our Citrus and then been able to Lunar Blessing right out. That would have done, like, no damage. And now what they're going to do is just protect. Right? So we actually need to bully the game out here because we... We need, to, we need to speed things up a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so Flutter's going to come in here. We're going to pivot in our Ice Horse. And... Yep. Doing this just in case they want to, like, try and, like, not protect the Wicked Blow or whatever. But we're resetting our Fake Out. Oh, I can't believe we missed the Wisp, dude. Never lucky. Torcat, dude. Letting me down. You're going to drop the Protect, I think. I think you're going to Protect. Wait out those Trick Room turns. But remember, we're still underspeeding them with this Flutter because they Tailwinded, right? So we're going to be able to potentially, depending on their items, right, get a double KO this turn, right? We, I'm assuming that they're Sash. They are Sash. Yeah, see, I made the right play by Terastazing there. And you could Wicked Blow me with your Sash Urshi, right? You definitely can. But I won't die, right? That's the, that's the reason why I trash the Splutter. We're going to eat this like a champ, by the way. Torn going down is nice. And then even if you bring out something like bad, like we just Ice Horse you really hard. Cool, that's still a three shot too. Nice. Really good EV spread on this Flutter, by the way. From Child of Making Sure, that's always going to be a three shot, I think. So let's see. They have Protect on the Urshi. They should use it this turn to start disincentivizing the Trick Room. But let's see if they bring out like a Fake Out user or something like that. They haven't sent and stuff back there. Since it's not that great into this... Mo into this uh, the rest of this board state, though. Yeah, let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. They're thinking. They're big thinking. Gold Ango, huh? Gold Ango's a good mon. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click high horsepower into that mon. And hopefully I can take it out. Their Terra is still up. But, like, what are they gonna Terra? Steel? Like, high horsepower. They're probably protecting. Double protect this turn is a good Oh my god, really? I don't know about that one. You might still lose your Dango here. Please lose your Dango? Can I actually say please use your Dango? Are you Specs Dango? Oh my god, he's literally like at one, bro. Ugh. Nah, he's like four. Ah, uh, we're gonna get big messed up by a Specs Make It Rain here, I think. 13 HP, dude. Ice Horse literally, literally busted. Ice Horse busted. Holy moly, dude. We still got gamer plays to make. That has to be specs. So we can fake out their teammate, deal with the Dango. Actually, are they specs? Is Ice Horse that big to just eat a specs, make it rain? It's hard to say, right? What is your last mon? Hmm. If they have Insin here, they are so good at saving their right mon for the right situation. But let's see. Took out Torn, took out Urshi. Incent, they're so good. Why didn't they send that out last turn and save the dangle for after? What a, they could have made the, they could have made some good plays. All right, let's actually think about the play here then, because they're gonna have a. I, I think they're still trick them up for like one more turn, right? Yeah. So, uh, okay. Let's think. Last turn of trick room, which means we're not really gonna get any value out of this ice horse. All right, I think the only play I have to do here. If I protect, I'm never going to get a chance to use the Ice Horse. So I think my only play here is actually close combat here and fake out here and then soak the damage from the Make It Rain on the Dango. And then from there, I'll just overheat at the turn after. That's my out. Let's go. If you fake out my Ice Horse, I lose. If you fake out my Torcat, that's still fine. But remember, you have a... Lower base speed, so your fake out's faster than mine right now. They're big thinking. They're big thinking. Protect and go. Oh, it's not choice. Cool. Oh, Torcat still beats it, right? So I don't need to go into that slot. Fake out. Oh my gosh, we're going to steal the game. Oh my gosh. Let's go CC, baby. Oh, dude, he's almost gone. This is such a close game, dude. Are you Citrus, though? Crap, dude. This is still really bad. All right, so I'm going to have to protect my Ice Horse. Protect my Ice Horse. I have to overheat that Dango. And I don't know if like I can actually outvalue their Incin with like a weakened overheat. That's the thing I'm really worried about. But I have to go after this Dango here. 
Yep. Have to. Have to do this. You know. Can't whisk the dango. Have to do it just like this. The horse is at minus one, so there's no reason to try and like parting shot cycle either. This is just gonna be a hard game. They could even make a crazy play and go for like a knockoff into the Torah Cat here and read me going for this play. That'd be a good play from them too, I think. Because I have to do that. I mean, uh, is that a good play? I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah, I, I would still hit the horse there. That would have been too dangerous because like I could have just attacked with the horse this turn, you know? Okay, okay. How do we win? I mean, you have to hit this slot. So that means the right play is to actually double protect and force you to like waste your time into it, right? That is the right play. My only moves here are overheat. I only have four. Struggle might actually have to be my play. Struggle is about to be real. I, it's the right play to double protect that ice horse. If you're making the read and trying to hit the torque out this turn, it's wrong, right? The minus two, this is not doing anything. And then you're gonna get a knockoff here. If I crit overheat, I think I kill you. Torcat versus in sin. Place your bets. He's at minus one. I'm at minus one. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Overheat again. Crit, crit. Oh, dude, that's not doing anything. Ugh. And then we're gonna get knockoffed. Okay. I think I eat one more. I need to get my crit, dude. Come on, come on. Overheat. Do it! My Eevee Light's gone, so actually they might do more damage. I might die to this next knockoff. But if I get this crit, dude, I think I got you. I think I got you if I get this crit! Hmm. All this because we missed a Wisp earlier, dude. If we hit that Wisp and had Crest, this, we wouldn't even be here. At least we're hitting the Overheats, right? No crit. All right. Don't kill me. Oh, God. Never lucky, bro. Torcat did its best. It did its best, but uh, wasn't enough in this one. I'm going to play one more game. I'm going to play one more game or get our run oh, back. what is this? This is some sort of weird Trick Room team, but we have the Ice Horse, bro. Bro. There's an ice horse right here with your name on it. That's, that's ice horse is pretty dang good here. Um, Rilla is good. Cress has dark Terra. I'm gonna bring Cress anyways. Cool. Let's go. That's a good looking team over there. Ursa Luna. Probably, it might, is it like, I know there's the Bruxish. It's not gonna be like policy Ursa Luna, right? That'd be kind of nuts. Now let's see what happens here. They have Frangar, they have Redirection, they have multiple setters. I think I'm just going to try and roll them, though. Like, I'm just going to go big AoE with, like, Prim. And we, we are leading the Ice Horse. Like, I'm leading the charge. And we have Poison Terra, too. Don't really want to click that unless I have to, though. Warren Guru. Am I just going to get, like, instructed Pop Bomb, dude? Oh, my gosh. Not like this. Not like this. Yeah, like go go nuts. Instruct pop bomb, dude. I'll I'll be proud of you. If you click those, if you click those, I'll be proud of you. I'm like actually not as afraid as I probably should be. There's a follow me. Yeah, dude. I knew you were just playing you're playing defensive. Cool. So we're gonna get a we're gonna get a boost here. We're gonna get some good damage off into the orange guru. We should be under speeding things, right? We should be under speeding the uh Ursa Luna with the Ice Horse. And now we get the attack boost here. So like we're gonna be really, really in a good spot. I think I'm gonna protect, see what they use for their Terra. Maybe fire the prim. Like this is a good spot for us. They go nuts. Like I don't, I don't think that really matters. The ice horse is the natural predator of Blood Moon. Like all my moves send you to the Shadow Realm. I think you're only out here. Oh, it's enamorous. I underspeed that too. You're gonna have to Terra though. So I'm just gonna drop a protect. I want to see what you Terra into. Maybe like steel. I'm just gonna click the hyper voice again. Remember, this is a water based move right now. Here's their Terra. I think Steel is one of your better options here, but then I just mix it up and go like close combat or high horsepower, right? And you can go double dazzle. You can do a bunch of different stuff. Fairies, they're just gonna double dip the fairy. Cool. Uh, Icicle Crash should one shot you. Let's see, maybe they have some strats. 
I was gonna say like sub would be the only problem, but like we're using a sound based move hyper voice. So like we're still good. We're still in a good spot. There's the dazzle. So you underspeed prim, but you don't underspeed the ice horse. And you're gonna get the prim off the board, but I'm gonna get a free pivot into my crest or whatever I feel like bringing out. Yeah, you're gonna get the instruct. Like it ain't no thing. Yep, go nuts. Prim did its job. Prim did its job. It's it's due diligence. All right. Yeah, what's an Amaris's base speed? It's I don't think it's thirty. I don't think it's that slow. It's slow, right? But I don't think it's like that slow. It's like forty. No, it's in a little bit faster. Anyways, we're fine. <laughs> we have a fake out pin here too. Like we're we're easy fine here. Um, let me think about what I want to do here. I'm good with Rilla. Yeah, I'll, I'll play this very standard because I don't want to miss my icicle crash either. We could even go into the orange guru. Yeah, I really actually like this. We're gonna go Icicle Crash here, and I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i go for the Fake Out. We'll do it. We'll play it your way. If you wanna pivot in the Bruxish, I still think this Icicle Crash will Oko your Enamorous. And if not, you know, we're gonna see what happens here. There's the point, you are slower than me. Are you Iron Ball? Good thing I Fake Outed. Oh my gosh, you still, you still alive? Encore, into Icicle Crash? Yo, okay. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, but I can have I can have my cake and eat it too. What if they have Bruxis as their last mon? Because if you do have Bruxis as your last mon, it's a good pivot in here. I'm gonna Trastalize here. Um, I do think that like there is a situation in which you do pivot in the Bruxis, and I'm really sad. And I don't want to die there. This is gonna get. No, the right play is this. So we're gonna go, bam. And I'm sure they have Protect on Enamorous. They might even be using it this turn. So we're gonna get the Orange off the board. Go for a Grassy Glide into that slot. Let's see. Everyone's standing on the board. So are they going like protect? There's a good chance they're going protect enamorous, like try encore my Rilla, I guess. I don't think Oranguru or gets disabled. Because you can just protect disable my grassy god. That'd be bad. But I'm going to take out your, your guy first. Oh, you're done. And it's better than just doubling those slots because we're still getting the intended result of killing both mons by targeting it this way. But uh, we're not auto losing the game to protect. So here we go. Big damage. Icicle crash and a swing and a hit. There's a plus one. Call me, that's a plus two. We get the crit though. Oh my gosh. Ice horse rodeo. That's uh, two KOs for ice horse. So we're at plus two attack. And what is your last pathetic mon, Kaiba? Urshifu. Okay. Go nuts. Urshi dark. I mean, you set trick room. This is, this is your fault. You just, uh, you turn to basically reset your fake out. So we're going to take those wins. We got our run back, right? We got our run back. That one game, Torcat missed the wisp on Urshifu, but we sealed up the deal versus Urshifu. And I just want to say thank you again to Chalda for like making this rental code. What a cool team. Features really, really underrated mons like Torcat, Like Ice Horse, they're still really good. I think a lot of people think you have to run like Ursa Luna on Trick Room teams. Ice Horse is good and it disincentivizes other Ursa Luna, both the regular and the Blood Moon variants. So... Guys, try out this rental code. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pull up the rental code. I'll pull up the rental code right here. Here we go. We'll show you guys rental code one more time. And be sure to use the rental code and go check out. I'll, I'll leave a link to their Twitter. Drop a follow. They have a bunch of cool tweets. Tweets. They do a bunch of cool stuff. And uh, it's right here. Yeah, I really think this is a great rental code from like a high level player that features a bunch of really, really cool mons used in fun and creative ways. So think about trying out this rental code in your own games. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. I'll see you guys next time.